faith as to show that prayer is accepted, rise. Our priest is in his holy place and answers from the throne of grace. I hope you enjoyed today's Bible study. It is truly a blessing. Every day there's something new, and every day God brings something new to mind. And I hope it touched you this morning like it's touched me. Now we're going to go to the book, the real book, the Bible. And we are going to read in the KJV version, Saul, conversion to Paul. Paul was an apostle. Paul was mean. And he had even killed Christians. He persecuted Christians. Um, and God converts him. And he becomes Paul. And he writes much of the New Testament. He is used greatly. It says, And Saul, yet breathing out threatenings and slaughter against the disciples of the Lord, went unto the high priest. This is Acts chapter 9. He desired of him letters to Damascus, to the synagogues, that if he found any of this way, whether they were men or women, he might bring them bound into Jerusalem. And as he journeyed, he came near Damascus. And suddenly there shined round about him a light from heaven. He fell to the earth, and a voice saying unto him, Saul, Saul, why persecutest thou me? And he said, Who art thou, who art thou Lord? And the Lord said, I am Jesus, whom thou persecuteth. It is hard for thee to kick against the pricks. And he trembling and astonished said, Lord, what will have me to do. And the Lord said to him, Arise, and go into the city, and it shall be told thee what thou, thou must do. And the men which journeyed with him stood speechless. They heard the voice, but they saw no man. And Saul arose from the earth, and when his eyes were opened, he saw no man. But they led him by the hand and brought him into Damascus. So Paul was blinded by the light of Jesus. And he was three days without sight, and neither did he eat or drink. And there came a certain disciple at Damascus, named Ananias. And to him said the Lord in the vision, Ananias. And he said, Behold, I'm here, Lord. And the Lord said unto him, Arise and go into the street, which is called Straight. I find that interesting, too. And inquire in the house of Judas for one called Saul of Taurus. For behold, he prayeth. And he has seen in the vision a man named Ananias coming in and putting his hand on him that he might receive his sight. Then Ananias answered, Lord, I've heard by many of this man how much evil he hath done to thy saints at Jerusalem. And here he hath authority from the chief priest to bind all that call on thy name. But the Lord said unto him, Ananias, go thy way, for he is a chosen vessel unto me to bear my name before the Gentiles and kings and the children of Israel. For I will show him how great things he must suffer for my sake. And Ananias went his way and entered into the house, and putting his hands on him, said, Brother Saul, the Lord, even Jesus, that appeared unto thee in thy way, as thou camest, has sent me, and thou mightest receive thy sight, and be filled with the Holy Ghost. And immediately there fell from his eyes, as it had been scales, and he received sight forwith, and arose, and was baptized. And when he had received meat, he was strengthened. And when Saul certain days with his disciples, which were at Damascus, and straightway he preached Christ 
in the synagogues and he that he is the son of God Saul begins to preach for Christ instead of persecute against those who are Christians because God shows himself in a miraculous way Jesus comes to Saul he blinds him and he shows him that he's real and Saul surrenders I hope today you've already surrendered to Christ and I pray that God doesn't have to do something miraculous for he already has given us Jesus Christ and the word of God to get you to see that he's real. We're going to go to the Lord in prayer today. I hope y'all have a wonderful and blessed day. I have a tooth that has a cap that food is collecting under and so I've got to go have it seen about. Um, so hopefully I won't I'm sure they probably won't do anything today. But um, thank you all for joining in this morning and making God a part of your life bright and early. We, are, we love each and every one of you. We love each other here on Real Southern Woman. So if you're new, I saw a new person yesterday. Um, welcome to Real Southern Woman, where we love God and we're not ashamed to say it. That's our motto here. Um, let's go to the Lord in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, what a wonderful and glorious story. This is in the book of Acts about Saul and how he came to know Jesus. What a blessing it is that God used him as a vessel. For because of him and the Holy Spirit, he pinned down beautiful words of God into your holy Bible. There are so many lessons to be learned by our dear brother in Christ, Saul, who was converted to Paul. What a blessing. We thank you for our life here. We thank you for this collection of our tears in heaven. How much you love us. How your ears are always listening for your children. May you be with each and every one of us today as we go throughout today. May we be a shining light. May, be, may we be used also as a vessel. May we listen when you call on us like Ananias did. And may we follow you. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Y'all have a wonderful and blessed day. And thanks for watching Real Southern Woman, where we love God and we're not ashamed to say it. Bye, I love you.